Hey everybody, welcome back to Twin Terry Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Dolphin on your Windows 10 machines. Now Dolphin, for those that you don't know, is the best GameCube slash Wii emulator out there. It was originally released in 2003 and we are currently on to our fifth version with improvements being made by the community every day. It also has the added advantage of having access to the Wii's virtual console collection, which makes it one of the best options for retro gaming out there. So let's just dive straight into it, shall we? So the first thing you're going to want to do is to create some folders. You don't have to do it, but I find it is best practice to keep everything organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder called emulators. Then in there, I'm going to create a new folder called dolphin. And that is where the dolphin emulator is going to live. So then I'm going to need a folder called 7-zip. To get that, you just follow the link in the description down below, labeled 7-zip. Find your version of Windows, whether you've got 64-bit or 32-bit, click download, save the file, go to your downloads folder, double click, and install. 7-Zip is one of the best programs for unzipping or unwiring files, it does everything. Then after you've installed 7-Zip, you go to the Dolphin website, which is dolphin-emu.org, or click the link in the description. You can click this blue box here to get the latest version, or you can click the download page, and you can look at previous versions before. As you can see, it is updated daily, with the last version being 8 hours ago. Click for Windows X64, save that file. Once that's downloaded, go to your Downloads folder. Find the Dolphin Dash Master 5.0 with the version number x64 zip. And then move this to the folders we created earlier inside the Dolphin folder. Then right click 7 zip, extract here. You can now delete the 7 zip folder if you want. Open the newly created Dolphin-X64 folder and double click on Dolphin with the Dolphin. Now you're going to run into this problem which says the code execution cannot proceed because MSVPP140DL was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix the problem. It will not fix the problem. What's going to fix the problem is installing the latest Microsoft Visual C++, Visual Studios 2015, 2017, 2019 combined. Just installing the latest version of Visual Studios 2019 will not work. So I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. So once you've clicked the link, scroll down to where it says 2015, 2017, 2019 combined. Click the x64 version if you're running 64-bit Windows. Save file. We go to the downloads folder again once that's finished and install. Setup has been successful. Now, when we go to our Dolphin, voila, Dolphin has opened. So the first thing you want to do is to show it where all your GameCube, Wii, ISOs and WADs are. So if you double click and find the folder. Now I've set mine up in the games folder here. And then a folder called Dolphin where I've separated them into GameCube, Virtual Console and Wii. I'll click select folder and as you've noticed none of the games have come up. So what I have to do is go to options, configuration. Go to the paths section and search, click search subfolders and as you can see it has populated itself and there are all my games and to play one of the games you just click on one and double click so we'll go with super mario sunshine we will double click and there <laughs> super mario sunshine Emulation, you just click escape. Yeah, we want to stop current emulation. 
before we finish this, I'd just like to go through a few settings that I like to do just to make sure everything runs smoother. You click graphics on the back end here. That selects which that selects which graphics API you're going to use. If you're using, say, um, an NVIDIA card, you can use OpenGL or Direct3D. If you're using an AMD card, it's recommended that you use Vulkan. Uh, different games, different GPUs, they all act differently with different backends. So you need to Google which one is the best for yours. And then the adapter chooses which card you're going to use. You can use the Microsoft Basic Render Driver, which is going to be pretty pointless. Or obviously, my select, make sure your graphics card is selected here. Another thing I like to do is to click compile shaders before starting, because this way it will compile every shader that it needs before the game actually loads up, which it, it means the game will start a lot slower, but you'll have a much better stutter free experience while you're doing it. Internal resolution, I usually change it to 1080p because I like to play my games in 1080p. Again, if it's starting to slow down or you're getting stutter, you can turn this down. A lot of these options are just based on testing it with your GPU because a lot of the games will act differently depending on your GPU. And the final thing I click is load custom textures, which is because I like to download the high resolution textures, which is something I'm going to show you later in a, another video. And that's it. That's everything you need to install Dolphin on your computer in 2020. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do.